guess I'm tuning my guitar. I'm going to put it in another key. See what happens here. Because you know, it helps if you're in tune. That sounds a little flat, but come on. Not bad, not bad. Could be better. That was a G, by the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a C, but I think we could see a little better here if we get going, and then we could have a little... F, 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 what does that stand for? Is that one of them words you're supposed to not use? And then you got the A sharp, or A! And then you got the, the D, which is a little on the, also a little on the sharp, so that's better, that's better. And then the E, the E, but that's not going to be the E. It's the E string, but it's going to be the G. Hey, that's pretty neat, I like that. Anyway, that's the way the hair man does the guitar. From atop of my mountain peak, I watch the lowlanders, yeah, far below, river people making merry, sharing their love, and my mind is a tombstone way below ground, and I thought you'd like to know. Well, I'll tell you one thing I'll never do again, I'll never give hip-hop to my friends for Christmas. Every time they open their presents, they immediately trash the rappers. I wish I could do that better, but... If I was more coordinated, I could play this thing a little better. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't done this one. Yeah, well, that's a little Bach. <laughs> you didn't know that I knew a little Bach, did you? I think he wrote that for his dead brother or something. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, where were you here? We're going to do something, but I don't really recollect. Uh, with uh, Christmas, uh, well, being a pagan holiday that was changed into a Christian holiday, that was probably after the Crusades where they killed all those people. Was it the Muslims that brought to them to their senses? And were the Muslims an outgrowth and supported by the Pope? <laughs> Is any of that true? I don't know. I read stuff in history, all the lies that I learned in school. A few years back, Santa bought his mother-in-law, Mrs. Claus, a cemetery plot as a Christmas gift. And when the next year rolled around, he didn't get her anything. And she asked Santa why. He replied, because you still haven't used the one I bought you last year. And that's how the fight got started. Yeah, a few years back, Santa had a plan to make his mother-in-law and him a happy man. He bought her a gift, and what a surprise, a cemetery plot right before her eyes. And the next year, well, it rolled around, and he get her a thing and she asked Santa why and he said with a sting because you still haven't used the one I bought you last year and that's how the fight got started my dear Mrs. Claus was fuming and she couldn't believe Santa's gift was a plot a way to deceive but Santa just laughed and he thought it was funny until Mrs. Claus yelled that's not even funny honey but the next year rolled round and he still didn't get her a thing and she asked Santa why and he said with a sting because you still haven't used the one I got you two years back and that's how the fight continued Christmas is supposed to be about love and joy but sometimes it can be a messy ploy even Santa and his mother-in-law can't escape the drama that comes with the holiday partying and cheer but the next year came around very soon and he didn't of course get her a thing and she asked Santa why and he said with a grin because you still haven't used the one I got you three years back and that's how the fight continued for another year so let this be a lesson here man when it comes to gift giving be careful what you choose cause it can cause a rip but in the end love and forgiveness it always prevails and hopefully next Christmas There'll be another tale of partying and, well, 
you know how it is. It all goes up in smoke and family feuds and everybody's fighting and that's why people dread Christmas sometimes. But I'll tell you the most beautiful thing all on Christmas is you ever go and hear the choir boys sing. Yeah. In a big cathedral with organs at both ends. No drums, no piano. Just little fellows singing a cappella. Now, something else for the rest of the what if you might call it. A few years back, Santa bought his mother in law. <laughs> no, I told you that one. <laughs> it's easy to track Santa. On Christmas Eve because he always accepts cookies. I hate those things on the computer and I also don't particularly like cookies. All that sugar, you know, seems to me that the food pyramid's upside down. A man can live on meat alone. Some people do that, like Joe Rogan. Mainly eats meat. He says it gets all the nutrients you need. Christmas scares me though and I wonder if I'm a uh, claustrophobic. 